Hi. Please, come in. You found the place okay? Not too hard coming out here? That's good. Uh, have a seat. Before we get started, I need to explain a few things. This isn't a job for a standard personal assistant. I'm not looking for someone to pick up dry cleaning or perform little tasks. I need someone trustworthy to handle a delicate situation with absolute discretion. This is very important and needs to be done perfectly. If you don't think you can handle that, please uh, just leave now. You're intrigued. Well, we'll see what you think after you know the details. I need you to be able to organize and keep track of two different schedules. Work, errands, meetings. You'll be expected to keep it so nothing is missed and no one associated with one is aware of the other. If any changes need to be made to one, then the other must be adjusted to compensate. Why? Well, that becomes a bit complicated and the reason why will require a lot of secrecy. You see, me, myself, the person you're speaking to right now, I will only be one of your employers. It's both our lives you'll be helping to run. He will talk to you shortly. We have agreed that we need someone like you to keep things separate. And he has agreed to speak to you before you decide if you want the job. Before you meet him, I, uh, I need you to sign this. This, uh, here. This is a non-disclosure agreement. After this meeting, you can never discuss what you learned about us and what your real job will entail. If that's a problem, we can stop now. You know, most people would have left by now. Trust me, I tried finding someone to take this job before. As soon as they heard non-disclosure, they assumed I was some sort of psycho or a creep. We just need some help, and I hope you might be the one to do it. Do you have any questions before we begin? You still don't understand the secrecy. Oh, you will. Just please be careful. Get on with it. Oh. Oh. So, you're the new assistant he found. I have to say, you're much prettier than I would imagine he'd be willing to bring in. He only seems to want to keep us away from lovely ladies like yourself. You look confused. Allow me to explain things since he seems to have forgotten his manners. The person you were speaking to when you first got here is gone. I'm the second employer he was speaking about. The two of us have an understanding about things. If I want to be able to do the things I want, we have agreed that we need to keep straight who is in control or it turns into an, uh, 
<sighs> an all-out war. <laughs> hmm. By your silence, I'll take it you're at least considering the position. So, I'll answer the questions I'm sure are flying through your mind. The term is dissociative identity disorder. No, it's not called split personalities. No, we don't drink some magic potion to become like this. Yes, we've seen Split and Jekyll and didn't particularly care for them. Hollywood rarely gets this kind of thing right anyway. We've been like this for as long as we can remember. No, we weren't abused as children. We just are what we are. Light and the dark, the good and the bad. For the record, I'm the good one. Still listening? Not scared away by the two men sharing a body? I'm glad. Aside from the necessary part of needing a person who can keep everything straight and act as a neutral party, the fact you're taking this all so well is very intriguing. Your job is going to be to make sure that my life and his life never meet. I don't need him walking into my office and have everyone wonder why my smiling face has been replaced by his somber one. I also have dates and other social calls that he would never be welcome at. If you agree to the job, you'll be expected to move here, rent-free, of course, on top of your salary. There's a guest apartment you will have your run of. It has a separate entrance and is connected to our area through one door you will have the key for. Since we both keep odd hours, and he works from home, it's necessary to have you on call to keep things from running amok. I will say, I'm sorry you'll have to see him so much. It can get very depressing. I should know. <laughs> so, love, do we have an agreement? Perfect. We'll expect you to be moved in by the end of next week, and you can start off the day-to-day -day things immediately. To celebrate your new venture, would you... like to join me for a drink? <laughs> or maybe dinner? Don't do this. We need her to fix things, or it'll never work. Excellent. I know this great place, baby. You're going to love it. <laughs>